What's up, Libra? What's up, baby? I miss you, Libra. All right, let's see what's going on in your energy for today. Let's see what's going on, Libra. Welcome back if you are returning. And welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time, Libra. Okay, so the Eight of Wands just fell out. It fell out of a different deck that I'm actually not going to pull from. But it fell on the floor. I feel like that's a sign. Eight of Wands. Somebody here may be wanting to come towards you. Something quick could be happening for you. Um, there could also be like some sort of quick communication as well. But let's see, Libra. Again, welcome back if you are returning. Thank you for being so loyal to me, Libra. Thank you for showing me so much love. I absolutely adore you, Libra. Shout out to my fellow Libras out there. You guys are amazing. Oh, Libra, I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. Mm. <coughs> yes, Libra. Okay, I know that's motherfucking right. Get to the coins, Libra. Get to the bag. Tell them cut the check. Libra, what's going on? Oh, we got the Two of Cups as well. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Libra, for real, for real. What y'all got going on? Let's see if these cards come back out. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Eight of Wands. Shit, I ain't mad at it. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node. Take what resonates with you, Libra. Leave the rest with somebody else out there. Father God, I ask that you cover and shield and protect me as I channel this energy for Libra. Give me some clear and direct messages for Libra. What is it that they need to know today? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, No Libra placements. What is it that Libra needs to hear? What is it that Libra needs to know? What's going on in their overall energy? What's their overall current energy during this time? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for these accurate messages. Thank you for allowing me to use my gifts to help the divine collective Libras out there. Holy Spirit, give me a message for Libra, please. Libra. King of Wands, first card out. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. This person could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. We have the King of Wands here. Uh, Libra, you could also have strong fire in your chart. Also getting Scorpio energy here too with the death in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. We have the Ten of Cups in the upright. We have the Prince of Wands, okay? We have the Prince of Disc. And we have the Eight of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card and the Upright. Okay, Judgment and the Upright. <coughs> Let me spit that out. I'm sorry, Libra. I am recovering, child. Told y'all I was outside in the cold acting crazy the other day. Having a good time. Getting my voice together, getting my body together, getting the mucus out of my system. <laughs> Libra, you have to bear with me, okay? I know it's disgusting. I'm sorry. Um, but I just cut the deck on the moon and the king of swords and the ace of wands. Something could be hidden that you don't see. Five of wands, okay? So trust your intuition in a situation, Libra. Y'all know I'm going to always tell y'all that. I feel like you are very intelligent, King of Swords energy, Ace of Swords. I do feel like you're intelligent and you are going to see the truth about something. So with the Moon card to the King of Swords to the Ace of Swords, it's like something could be hidden, but you're very smart. So you're going to pick up on whatever's hidden. You're very intelligent. You're going to pick up on what's hidden. You're going to see the truth, Ace of Swords. I feel that. Um, Something going on here. Something fishy. Give me something on this King of Wands. What's going on with the King of Wands? Give me some message. Okay, Will of Fortune. An upright. Okay, Six of Cups. This person saying that they miss you and that they unhappy. It's like a faded event for this person to come towards you. That's how they feel. Um, they could be a Leo or an Earth sign that's also unhappy because you walked away from them. This person could have wanted you to wait on them. Now they fucked up in their head over this shit. Somebody here is stressed out mentally conflicted really worried and overthinking because they thought you was gonna wait on them but instead you fucking walked away from them some of y'all could be receiving an offer from somebody else that you're gonna actually take and this person is gonna lose their shit once they find this out 
this person, yeah, it is a king of pentacles in the reverse that's unhappy. Like I said, this person could be an earth sign or a Leo, or they could have earth or Leo in their chart. This person could have thought you was waiting on them. They could feel like they have a strong soulmate connection with you. This person may feel like you guys have a deep bond, a telepathic bond, a past life soulmate bond. It's like this person feels really connected to you. Like you guys spent many lifetimes together is what I'm seeing here with the Six of Cups energy too. And it's like they really miss you, Libra. And this person is like fucked up in their head because they feel like you walked away. You skedaddled, okay? Somebody here said you fucking skedaddled. A lot of y'all skedaddled because this motherfucker had the nerve to have a third party. You said, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with that shit. Queen of Swords. So Libra, you, you took out your sword. You're showing up as the Queen of Swords. This three of cups in the reverse could also be a symbolic of a delay. This person could have felt like they took too long, maybe because they were still invested in a third party. For some of you, they could have wanted you to be involved in a third party situation with them. For others of you, this person just wanted you to wait until they sorted things out with the third party, but you didn't wait, you left. That's how they feel. They feel like you fucking flipped the script on them. Some of y'all, they even feel like... They told you, like, you you guys, some of y'all had an agreement with this person that you was going to wait, and then you didn't wait, and now they feel fucking played right now. It's like, Libra, you knew the situation, you, you were supposed to wait. And it's like, mm, motherfucker, I'm out. <laughs> Libra. Not you fucking flip the script with somebody. For some of y'all, that's how it went. And then for others of y'all, it's just that you're not investing in this, you're not waiting, somebody took too long, things like that. Yeah, four of wands in a reverse. This person could be saying that they divorcing somebody or they left somebody, okay? With the four of wands in a reverse and now they want to make you an offer. Child, not this person said they divorced somebody or they left somebody. Now they want to be with you. Libra, what the fuck? Yeah, this person feel like y'all got unfinished business. For some of y'all, there's an ex of yours or ex-husband as well that feels like you two have unfinished business. This is giving me the energy of that movie. Oh my God, y'all ever seen that movie? If you haven't seen that movie, Libra, you gotta watch that movie. I know for a fact that y'all would enjoy that movie. Just because I'm a Libra and it's one of my favorite movies, I feel like you would enjoy that movie, Libra. It's called, um, why, what, why I can't think of what it's called and it's one of my favorite movies. It's complicated. That's what it's called. It's called, It's Complicated. And you should watch that movie, Libra, because that's the energy this is giving me low-key. Basically, in the movie, is Meryl Streep, okay, the legend Meryl Streep, and it's Alec Baldwin. And they were married for years. They have grown children that's off to college, getting married and shit like that. Like, they're, oh, they're an older couple, right? But they divorced in the movie. And she's still single, um, but she holding her own, she holding it down. Like she got her shit all the way together. She's like a amazing chef and you know, she's doing her thing. His old ass went off and married somebody that's young enough to be his daughter that he actually cheated on her with while they were married. But then while he's married to the younger girl now, that was the side piece that turned into the wife, <laughs> He wants to cheat on her now with his ex-wife that he cheated on her with and left her for. I don't know. Some of y'all could be going through some crazy shit like that too. Or, And they actually have an affair, by the way. The movie is great. I love that movie. I done seen that movie a thousand times and I could watch it a thousand more. And Steve Martin is in it as well. I won't give too much away about his character, but he's in it as well. Uh, we love Steve Martin, right? He's funny. But um, it's a great movie, y'all. Y'all should check it out. It's called It's Complicated. For some of y'all, y'all got a situation like that going on right now. Like, it's fucking complicated, okay? Somebody here could have left you for somebody, and now they want to be with you. Others of you, you could have been married to somebody. They cheated on you with somebody else, left you for that person. Now they want to cheat on that person and be with you, or they want to leave that person, come back to you. Then for others of you, this person always had a third party, but now they wanted you to wait and they feel like you flipped the script. You left them. You were supposed to wait until they divorce was final or until they figure shit out with that person. And you just walked away like you told me you was going to wait, Libra. You knew the divorce was going to be final. Told you it was going to be finalized in April. You couldn't fucking wait. Come on, Libra. 
four more months, baby. <laughs> something significant about three months or four months. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of threes here, three, three, three. Something significant about three weeks, three months. <laughs> Some of y'all could have been waiting for three years. Shit, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Libra, you said I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> Libra, you said hell no, nah, motherfucker. You got another thing coming if you thought I was about to wait. Yeah, you manifesting something else, Libra. Look at you, baby. You showing up as the magician. Y'all are manifesting something else. For some of y'all, you got an air sign that's manifesting you. Some of y'all could have another air sign that's trying to manifest you right now. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Or they could have strong air in their chart. But this person trying to call you in. Somebody else is feeling you right now. And they trying to manifest you for themselves. They like, shit, I'm trying to fuck with you. That motherfucker over there had you waiting, baby. I would never make you wait. <laughs> That's how somebody come in. Who the fuck is this king of swords? This motherfucker smooth. <laughs> Collective, you showing up as a high priestess. Some of y'all know who this person is. You could have met this person in past or something. Some of y'all actually spoke to this person before. This person says, shit, I ain't going to keep you waiting, baby. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, hell no. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. Oh, hell, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody here feel like you don't want them, though. Whoever this is, they showing up as somebody that could be smooth. I'm hearing Sade. Smooth operator. <laughs> smooth operator. I can't really sing because my voice is so fucked up right now. Um, but Libra, you showing up as the Empress. Okay, like, period. You you always show up as the Empress in my message. And my message is Libra, y'all always show up as the Empress. A lot of y'all are fucking out. Six of Swords. Some of y'all could be traveling, moving, relocating. Six of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Your new beginning, your new manifestations is all protected. Ace of Cups, the Hierophant to the Judgment. God got his hand all in this shit. God is making sure that you continue to stay on your path. God is making sure that no karmic energies can connect to you as well. Somebody here is all in a fucking head about you. Somebody here is jealous of your beauty, jealous of your new beginning, jealous of what you be manifesting. It's another woman here that's jealous of you. Oh my God, Libra. Y'all always get some hating ass bitches in y'all readings, y'all. I swear y'all do. Libra, y'all be having some hating ass hoes that be coming out of no fucking way. Somebody's mad because you're independent. This is the type of chick that need a man to take care of them. And they mad because you don't need a man to take care of you. Like, Libra, you think you're the shit because you don't need a nigga to take care of you. Like, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> Libra, you're mad funny. Libra, you also a magician and a high priestess. You damn right you the shit. You showing up as the magician, the high priestess, and the fucking empress, and the nine of pentacles? Come on now, Libra. Your energy is crazy right now. That shit is beautiful. <coughs> the empress, the high priestess, the magician, and the nine of pentacles, and the queen of wands? Oh, somebody here trying to get you pregnant. Somebody said you gonna have my baby, Libra. So some of y'all that's in childbearing age, somebody here is like, that woman right there gonna have my baby. Mm -hmm. There's a king of swords right now that's plotting on getting you pregnant. They could also be a Taurus that's plotting on getting you pregnant. Somebody here said you gonna have a baby, Libra. Mm -hmm. A Gemini, another Libra like you, an Aquarius or a Taurus. Or somebody with that highly aspect in their chart. They said you gonna have my fucking baby, Libra. We gonna have a little magician. Somebody here know that you like a magician, you an alchemist or a high priestess, you're very spiritual, you're very intuitive, like you're showing up as someone that's very magical. That's how this person see you and they said that they want to have a little magical baby with you. <laughs> that shit is funny. Now somebody said you got a holy seed, they trying to fucking, they trying to breed you. <laughs> I'm weak right now, this message is a hot mess. Libra, you have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Emotionally independent, financially secure, being able to take care of yourself, stand on your own too, handle your own. You're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, period. 
Is the King of Cups in a reverse that's in your energy? Why is the King of Cups in a reverse here? Yeah, like, I ain't got time for this. Yeah, Seven of Swords in a reverse. Somebody that could suffer from, yeah, the Devil reverse. Somebody here may suffer from mental uh, issues. Okay. This person wants to come back towards you. Somebody here may really suffer from mental issues, though. That's what I'm getting here. This person could be financially going through some sort of hardships and they need your assistance. This person could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They could have strong water, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. You care about this person, Libra, but you want this person to stay away from you as well. <laughs> Libra, what? Oh, Libra. Oh, man. Yeah, some of y'all could have been dealing with a Gemini as well. This person could be in a, a hole right now when it comes to their finances. This person could be losing a lot of business deals. If this person, like, is an entrepreneur, they have, like, a lot of business partnerships. Some of y'all got somebody that's in the public eye. Who the fuck I'm reading for? Okay, some of y'all be had. Some of y'all was dealing with somebody that was in the public eye. This person could have been a Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, or a water sign. But this person may struggle from mental issues is what I'm seeing. Um, this person is very high and low, extreme highs, extreme lows. Personality disorder is what I'm getting. Somebody here could also have like some sort of addictions. But this person is in a hole when it comes to their finances. And they, be, they may need some help from you financially. Or this person may even want to rekindle a romance with you um, because they need help. But you're not going for it. Justice in the reverse. You're like, get the fuck away from me. And this person is really down bad. Like, they're really depressed. This is somebody that may also, like, want you to be with them out of feeling sorry for them. Like, this is the person that will come towards you crying on their knees. Like, you're the only person that ever understood me. You're the only person that ever, that never judged me. You're the only person that I could ever be myself around. Libra, please, please, I'm dying without you, Libra. <coughs> I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's the energy is giving me, like, this motherfucker cry. Like, Libra, please, baby, you don't understand. Like, you're the only person that will ever be there for me. You're the only person that ever loved me, that would ever help me and understand me and take care of me, like. That's how this person is showing up. Libra, you're the only person. You're the only one. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Mm. That's sad. But you're moving forward. You got the chariot here. You're moving forward. You got a whole fucking emperor on your side, Libra. You about to go into union with somebody if y'all not already. And this is somebody that's matching your fly, baby. The emperor to the empress. Look at that. This is somebody that's matching your fly. This is somebody that's equally yoked. Okay? Somebody that will really, truly invest in you. Somebody that don't really come with no real fucking issues or problems. Like, nobody's perfect. Libra, neither are you, right? But this is damn sure going to feel perfect. Like, this is going to be somebody that's your match, your equal. Oh, let's get into that. Let's see what's going on with this emperor here. Yeah, something significant about Taurus energy. This person could have strong Taurus placements if they're not a Taurus son. Okay, but this person is like, um, they're a leader. Just like you, this person may be very spiritual, just like you. You guys are a fucking match, yo. The high priestess and the hierophant, this is two leaders, two spiritual leaders. The emperor and the empress, divine masculine, divine feminine. Going from the nine of cups to the ten of cups, the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, high priestess, hierophant. As I say, the Ten of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Pentacles in this deck as well. I can't fucking make this shit up, Libra. Oh, somebody here is like big boss, king status, divine masculine, hierophant energy. 
somebody that's very stable, somebody that's emotionally, mentally stable, somebody here that's a provider, somebody here that's a nurturer. It's time for this to happen, period. Will of Fortune, this shit is here twice in the upright. This is faded. This is destined to happen. Will of Fortune here twice in the upright. Eight of Wands, they go that Eight of Wands. I told you the Eight of Wands fell out in the other deck before I even started your reading. This shit happening quick, Libra. This shit gonna happen quick. This shit gonna blow your fucking mind, yo. Ooh. It's gonna blow your mind, Libra. This person said you blow their mind. This person said you you relieve all their pain and suffering, their sorrows, their tension. This person is fresh. I don't know what y'all doing with this person, Libra. <laughs> Maybe some of y'all give great massages. I don't know. There's an emperor in the reverse that's in your energy that's pissed working together with multiple people here to tear you down. This person's a fucking loser. <coughs> so somebody here that's like a false soulmate. Somebody here that's not a real emperor. You're connecting with a real emperor. Somebody here that's in the emperor in the reverse energy is working together with multiple people behind the scenes to cause you issues. This person is a whore. This is somebody that's very promiscuous. They sleep around a lot. Knight of Wands in the reverse to the Hermit reverse. This person could be a Virgo for some of y'all. Somebody was showing Virgo in their chart. I'm also getting Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Leo energy. Okay. I'm also getting Cancer and Pisces energy. Whoever this is, this is somebody that y'all don't fuck with. Period. You know that this person don't love you and you don't fucking love them either. So this person needs to just mind their fucking business and stay out of your way. This is somebody that feel like you the one that got away. This person want to come towards you because they, they feel like you're the one that got away. This is somebody that just don't want to see you happy, though. It's not because they love you or they want to be with you. They just simply don't want to see you in a loving connection. That's all. So tell them don't look because you won't be in this shit regardless. <laughs> tell them mind their fucking business and not to look. Yeah, you won't be in this shit regardless. The star card. The star is here twice. You've healed enough and you're going to be aligned with somebody that has healed just as much as you have. A fucking boss. A fucking leader. I cannot make it up. The Hierophant here twice. A real fucking king. A real boss. The Hierophant here twice. And this person is very spiritual as well. This person is very in tune. They're very skilled. They have a lot of knowledge just like you. Whoever this is, they're very knowledgeable. Wow, Libra, a lot of y'all could have been praying for somebody that's like very knowledgeable and skilled like you, you know, somebody that don't find the sh your lifestyle weird because that's their lifestyle too. This is beautiful, Libra, you deserve this. Yeah, there you go, Empress. Like God has somebody set up for you, baby. Look at you showing up as the Empress here twice. We got the Hierophant here twice in both decks. And you ignoring past people that are envious. You don't give a fuck about none of these past people. They so concerned about you, though. They all watching. I'm telling you, they just was. Who the new dude? Who the, who the, who the one? Libra, Libra getting married? Libra gonna have a baby? Who? Who? What he look like? Let me see him. I wanna know who it is. Okay, and after you see who it is, after you see, then what? Okay? Like, what you gonna do? Talk shit? Oh, he ugly. Or oh, he ain't got oh, he ain't all that. She could do better than that. I'm better than that nigga. Like, come on now. That's what y'all that's what y'all looking to wait and see and say. Like, come on. <laughs> Libra, this is something you manifested, period. We got the magician here twice. That's representing your manifestation. You manifested this. Y'all was like, I want a man of good faith, a man of God, somebody that's spiritual, somebody that's a leader, somebody that's a boss. Somebody that's independent, somebody that's self-sufficient, somebody that's secure within themselves. Libra, that shit is here. It's here, baby. It's here. It's her. Yeah. And somebody suffering in silence. Page of Wands, reverse temperance, reverse the moon. Could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces that's fucking furious right now. Okay, this person could be lying on you and talking shit. There's a King of Wands in the reverse that's also being very immature as well. Okay, you could be paying people to try to destroy you. That shit is not working. That's weird. Somebody is in heavy regret and upset because they were trying to block your new beginning. That's still happening. And they're sad because there's nothing that they can do about it. Somebody here feels like it's too much work to try to block your new beginning or your blessings. Womp womp. Fucking losers. Going through extreme tower moments for fucking with you. Somebody here could have had a crazy backfire. Could be losing a lot right now because they tried to come for you or they lied on you. 
Womp womp. Somebody here could be having issues within the home or living situation. Womp womp. Who cares? Like, this is what happens when you're too concerned with somebody else's life. You end up ruining your own shit. This is why it's very important for everybody to just focus on what they got going on. The minute you are so too invested in somebody else's life, especially somebody that you're not even fucking with, you are, you've already lost. Like, you've already set yourself up for failure by being in that energy. These are people that you've already closed out cycles with that are just envious, just upset. Lying on you and talking about you because they lost the privilege of having access to talk to you. You're very intuitive, Libra. Here you are showing up as the high priestess again. You may know all it is and you don't care. You still choosing happiness. You still choosing peace. And you got your whole fucking boss here. You got your spiritual daddy here with you. You don't give a fuck about none of this. Oh, Libra, this Hierophant, this Emperor. Mm. Child, this person gone. I'm hearing some shit that I ain't even going to repeat because we ain't even about to go down that road, Libra. But just know that this person is going to make you very happy, okay? All right, I'm going to talk to you soon, Libra. I hope that you enjoyed this message. Hope it's giving you some sort of clarity, confirmation, or guidance. Thank you for tapping in. I love you. Peace.